welcome to a short somatic movement practice with Yoga Roz, focusing on your ability to reconnect to your shoulders, to your scapulae, to finding ease of movement and reducing tension in the whole of the shoulder region. So please come to a comfortable seat that works well for you. That could be sitting on a chair, doesn't have to be kneeling, might be sitting cross-legged. Float your arms forward, palms facing, soften the shoulders away from the ears, and then we're going to begin with a movement that is called shoulder slings, and it's a protraction and retraction. So reach your right arm forward as if you are lengthening out of the shoulder joint and then glide back. Same with the left, and glide, and then you don't have to speed this up, and in actual fact, Somatic moves sometimes work better when you are more consciously mindful of each movement and how your body finds that pain-free. But let's, for the purposes of the demo, now try both together. So on the exhalation, maybe, extend both. Feel the way the scapula glide around the rib cage. That's a protraction and then a glide back back to retract. We can also do that with more of a rounded spine. So nice breath in, exhaling, take the gaze down, feel flexion in the spine, maybe draw that navel in, creating that curvature and then glide back. So a movement that can be isolated into the scapulae alternating in shoulder slings or with double arms can also start to integrate your spine as well. Now we're coming down to somatic arm opening. So I'm laying on my right side for the purposes of the demo but you'll want to try this on both sides. So lay your left arm heavy on top of the right arm and palm and settle the ear onto the mat or the blanket. Relax the facial muscles, perhaps even close your eyes. Become aware of your breath, breathing the body. And then begin to draw the left arm, sliding it along the inside of the right arm. Almost as if you're pulling on an, a silky evening glove. And then you'll notice your elbow bend. You're going to keep your gaze on the thumb as you let the head and neck glide with the movement. Chest opens here. Maybe take another breath and feel the space coming across the front of the chest and then turn the head to the left. Keep that arm bent if you wish. And then maybe at the last moment, reach out through your left arm. It is possible that your left arm may well be hovering. So note that as well, because depending on the freedom of movement in the ribs and the spine, and even you can notice some extra movement coming into the hip and pelvis as to whether that left scapula lands on the mat as you open. Then you're going to bend that left arm again, touch the arm, shoulder, collarbones, and begin to slide back and come to that start position. Now this can all be done obviously a lot faster. So I'm going to now breathe in and fly open. Pause, breathe out and glide back. You can also just breathe in and come to here and exhale and come back. There's no right or wrong in somatic movement. There really is just you experiencing the, um, the joy of movement with freedom and ease. I'm going to finish with one more variation. So palm heavy on top of the bottom palm and then lift the whole of the arm lever, gaze into thumb, breathe in as the arm comes to sky. And again, exhale to open out through the chest and you can really keep those hips stacked or you can slide that pelvis back as well and then when you're happy with that and satisfied relift the arm to center up towards the sky the ceiling and then exhale to close 
Receive sensations in your body, your breath and your mind. Roll onto the back body with knees bent, feet resting in a constructive rest pose or slide out with legs long. And note here, not only how does that left side of the shoulder, the collarbone, the whole shoulder blade feel, but how does that now meet the earth? How do the arms feel? How does the left side compare to your right side? 